Um, an advanced people search is the number one thing that people say they like about LinkedIn. And I get that from the people who are on my mailing list as I mail out a survey twice a year with LinkedIn habits and uses. And I ask them, what's working for you? What are the things that you think are very helpful? And this tool I'm going to show you right now, the advanced search, is the number one tool. So here, you get to advanced search up in the top here. If you know about somebody's name, you can type it in here and hit the search button and you'll find them. But most of the time, we're trying to find people that we don't know their name, but we know the type of person we're looking for. So if you hit advanced, it allows, it allows you to get to this screen where you type in different kinds of criteria of the person you're looking for. So let me show you an example. Let's say you wanted to meet with presidents, somebody who is currently a president, and let's say we're going to do it in the Milwaukee area. So right now, before I hit the search button, let me explain what's going on. 90 million resumes on steroids profiles on LinkedIn. I'm asking LinkedIn to tell me those people that have the word president in their current title and they're 50 miles from my zip code. I hit the search button. We come up with 18,692 results. So that means though that many people met the criteria that I asked for. Now, <clears throat> here's what shows up. These are the 19, 18,000 people. Let's say that's a little bit too big. You say, Wayne, that's so big. How can that help me? Well, I'll tell you what. Maybe I want to look for, for presidents who are in the manufacturing business. Maybe. So now I'm going to hit one more criteria, hit the search button, and my 18,000 goes down to 1,121. So understand what just took place. 90 million people on LinkedIn. First criteria brings me a big bucket of names. The next criteria brings me a smaller bucket. And you're trying to get to the smallest bucket, but have it still be relative to what you're trying to do or look for. So here's Kevin. I look at Kevin. He looks interesting to me. I click on his profile. He's a second degree, as you can tell from that. I love my second degrees. And I love my second degrees because all I have to do is call one of my three friends here, David, Dean, or James, to meet Kevin. Now think about that. It's about this point usually in my presentation where people go, oh my gosh, that's pretty powerful. And it is pretty powerful because, because I know these three gentlemen at the first degree, I can now connect with Kevin. 